Hello, good morning. Thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. Today we are doing a foundation review and it is on the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. So if you'd like to see if this is any good, if I'd recommend it, all that kind of stuff, wear test, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz, that way you don't miss out on the daily uploads. Hello! Anyway, okay, so I purchased this a little while ago, and I purchased this because I liked the acne fighting foundation so much. Sorry about the lighting, it's about 5.30, I have the window open so we're getting a little bit of light, hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, like I said, I liked the, um, I liked the acne fighting foundation so much, I thought I'd give this a try, but this is oil free, medium coverage. I did pick it up in um, Alabaster, it looked kind of dark, so... We shall see, but anyway, okay. You're just supposed to use a small amount, put it in the center of the face and blend it outwards using fingertips, a sponge or a foundation brush. So, okay, let's go ahead and try this. So as a pump, it is 0.68 fluid ounces. So it isn't quite a full ounce, it's a little over half an ounce. But this is what my skin's looking like, so I got some discoloration, but nothing too bad. But let's go ahead. Okay. Let's go on. Ooh, it's supposed to be cool. That's yellow. That is yellow. That is not cool at all. Cool pink undertones, my ass. <laughs> Holy crap. That is a horrible, horrible shade. Oh my gosh, I'm like Oompa Loompa yellow. Okay, we'll go to blend it out. We'll see how it looks. Oh, that color might be okay when we blend it out, but that's not pink. That's not a pink undertone at all. has a slight scent to it. Nothing crazy though. Definitely satin. Definitely very dewy. Color's horrible. Let me go ahead. I'm going to go in with one more pump. So that's three pumps total. Hello, boy. I mean, you can see how yellow it is. We'll try building it up a little. Okay, that's what we're looking like. Covered the acne spot. So, not too bad, but we'll definitely how see how it looks once we get some powder on it and everything. But this is what we're looking like. Looks okay, it just looks a little heavy with how the color is horrible. Very yellow for a cool toned, you know, shade, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'll touch base with you here in a little while. I'm just gonna do something really natural and um, I'll show you what it's looking like. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here we are. So I put on some of the Maybelline Set and Smooth powder um, after I used a little bit of Mega Last Incognito underneath the eyes. And then I just used um, the bronzer and the blush out of the Ulta Beauty 3-in-1 Cheek Palette in Santori Sun. I did not put on any highlighter because I want to see how dewy this gets throughout the day. But this is what we're looking like. So... It's sitting okay on the skin. Obviously, I didn't use any primer, so you can still see a lot of texture. But from far away, it looks okay, except for the shade. I mean, I've gotten some sun, but I'm definitely not, you know, and this is alabaster. That's what's crazy is alabaster um, neutral pink undertones. And it's it's not. It is definitely, um, it's definitely pretty yellow. But I will touch base with you here in a little while. Show you what it looks like in natural daylight, all that jazz, but yeah, this is what the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Satin Foundation is looking like so far on 
my combo aging skin. So I'll see you here in a little bit for my first check-in. Okay, so I am sitting here on my break and this is what the foundation is looking like. It's not very hot. We just got done having a little bit of a thunderstorm. It's like in the 70s. Once again, I put on absolutely no highlighter. And like you can see how shiny I am. So it's definitely luminous. Um, having a tiny bit of transfer. Um, but I think it looks okay. Looks a little bit better in more natural lighting. I have the overhead light on and a little bit of light is coming through the curtains. But this is what we're looking like four hours in. So not bad. So, you know, it's still feeling a little bit heavy, but it does look pretty on the skin. Very skin-like if you like, if you enjoy a luminous kind of dewy look. So I'll see you here in a little bit for another check-in. Hello. Okay, so here is what the foundation is looking like after eight hours. Um, oof. Um, I have some mixed feelings about the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I think from far away it looks really, really pretty. Um, looks very skin-like. Um, I don't feel like it oxidized much in natural lighting because let me turn off my light. So this is just from light from the window. Um, I think it looks, Shade Match doesn't look bad goes on very yellow, um, but it is what it is. Um, as you saw when I did the little quiet check-in, like really up close with like my camera, like right here, it sunk into my nose pores and like started to separate pretty early in. Um, I definitely think if you have combo skin, you definitely need a good mattifying primer. Um, I would feel more comfortable wearing this with a pore filling primer as well because I think where it does have some more moisture, it just sinks right into fine lines, wrinkles, pores, anything like that. But I do think it's pretty. Like I said, absolutely no highlighter on today. Um, and you can see how, look at my forehead. Like, and it's not greasy or anything like that. I mean, it's just the finish of the foundation. So I, I think the finish is pretty. I think this would be really good for someone that does have dry normal or normal skin. Um, I don't think if you do have combo skin, I don't think that this is unwearable. You're just going to have to do certain prep. Um, I don't know if you're oily, if you would personally like this, just the kind of finish it has, but it is pretty and I will definitely wear it again um, with a pore filling primer, um, maybe a different powder. You know, I could. I, there's more stuff I could do to get my skin ready for this because I do think the finish is pretty. It is very skin-like. Um, the only problem I've really had is around my nose and the, with the pores. But besides that, I don't think it's bad. Um, I do think it's worth picking up if you do have that dry or normal skin. And if you do have uh, combo skin, if you like more of that luminous um, finish, then I think you would like this. Um, pretty affordable you got to be careful with the shade range. I would recommend going into store to try to find it because, like I said, this is alabaster. And it's, I mean, you know what I mean? So I like it. I recommend it. You, it's just going to depend on your skin type and your skin issues. But anyway, there we go. I need to go shower because I'm actually, I uh, had to go run some errands. I'm going to finally get out of my pajamas. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll go ahead and link this down below, either through the little tab um, that has the products or an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to. It's just there for ease of shopping. But if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know if you've tried the Flawless Satin Foundation. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Let me know down below. And of course, you are always more than welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.